वेलकम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू दी एडब्ल्यू एस सोल्यूशन आर्किटेक्ट एसोसिएट एग्जाम प्रेपरेशन कोर्स हियर वी विल सी ऑल द क्वेश्चन विद द रियल टाइम यूज केस एंड वी विल डी कोड द आंसर फॉर द एडब्ल्यू एस सर्टिफिकेट एग्जाम सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज बाई डिफॉल्ट हाउ मेनी एस थ्री बकेट्स कैन यू हैव विद अ न्यू एडब्ल्यू एस अकाउंट so the options are option a 25 option b 50 option c 100 option d 200 please select your answer in the next 5 seconds 5 4 3 2 1 So the right answer is option C 100. By default, customers can provision up to 100 buckets per AWS account. However, you can increase your Amazon S3 bucket limit by visiting AWS service limits. Let's move on to the next question for the AWS Solution Architect Associate exam. So the next question is Which of the following operating systems is not supported by EC2 So the options are Option A Amazon Linux Option B Ubuntu Option C OS X Option D Windows Server Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds 5 4 3 2 so the right answer is option c os x is not supported on ec2 let's move on to the next question for the aws solution architect associate exam so the next question is You have developed a file sharing website for a large corporate entity. They require that the site has regional redundancy. Which S3 service should you use to achieve this? So the options are Option A S3 standard. Option B S3 RRS with data pipeline to DynamoDB. Option C configure a lambda function with the trigger of S3 so that when an object is uploaded to S3 it is automatically replicated to EBS Option D S3 cross region replication Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds 5 4 3 2 1 So the right answer is option D S3 cross region replication S3 with cross region replication CRR automatically replicates data across AWS regions With CRR Every object uploaded to an S3 bucket is automatically replicated to a destination bucket in a different AWS region that you choose. Let's move on to the next question. So the next question is You have been load testing a customer's new production environment. You create the environment using CloudFormation and you utilize CloudWatch to monitor the environment. After extensive load testing, you are ready to hand the CloudFormation template over to your customer. You delete the environment and give your customer the CloudFormation template. However, They now want to see the results of the load test. How long does CloudWatch store the metrics for EC2 and ELB after deleting those resources? So the options are Option A 24 hours Option B 48 hours 
ऑप्शन सी वन वीक ऑप्शन डी टू वीक प्लीज सिलेक्ट योर आंसर इन द नेक्स्ट फाइव सेकेंड्स फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन सो द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी टू वीक Amazon CloudWatch stores metrics for terminated Amazon EC2 instances or deleted elastic load balancers for 2 weeks. Let's move on to the next question. So the next question is Which of the following statements is true? So the options are Option A you can attach multiple EBS volumes to an EC2 instance. Option B Rs you can attach multiple EC2 instances to EBS volume. Option C it is possible to configure an auto scaling group to repair degraded EBS volume without the need to template the EC2 increases. Option D it is possible to use auto scaling with EBS rather than EC2. Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 So the right answer is option A you can attach multiple EBS volumes to an EC2 instance. You can attach multiple EBS volumes to an EC2 instance. Let's move on to the next question. So the next question is What are the two different types of virtualization available on AWS Option A hardware virtual machine HVM Option B physical virtual machine PVM Option C per virtual machine PV Option D cloud virtual machine CVM Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds Five, four, three, two, one. So the right answer is options A and C: hardware virtual machine (HVM) and per virtual machine (PV). The two different types of virtualization available are hardware virtual machine (HVM) and per virtual machine (PVM). Let's move on to the next question. So the next question is You've been tasked with implementing a globally accessible storage solution that will scale from a few terabits now to an unknown but significantly greater volume of data in 3 years Which AWS service would best meet your current and projected storage needs So the options are Option A EC2 with EBS Option B S3 Option C RDS Option D DynamoDB Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds 5 4 3 2 1 So the right answer is option B S3 Amazon S3 is highly scalable. Secure storage for flat files. S3 will scale to any projected volume of data. In this case, it's your best bet. Let's move on to the next question. So the next question is Your large scientific organization needs to use a fleet of EC2 instances to perform high performance CPU intensive calculations. Your boss asks you to choose an instance type that would best suit the needs of your organization. Which of the following instance types should you recommend? So the options are Option A C4 Option B M3 Option C D2 
Option D R three. Please select your answer in the next five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. So the right answer is option A C four. C instances are recommended for high performance front end fleets, web servers, batch processing. Distributed analytics, high-performance science and engineering applications, ad serving, MMO gaming, and video encoding. The best answer would be to use a C4 instance. Let's move on to the next question. So the next question is. You have an application that stores data in S3, and you need to design an integrated solution providing encryption at rest. You want Amazon to handle key management and protection using multiple layers of security. Which S3 encryption option should you use? So the options are. Option A SSC S3. Option B SSCC. Option C SSC KMS. Option D Amazon S3 encryption client. Please select your answer in the next five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. So the right answer is option A SSC S3. SSC S3 uses managed keys and one of the strongest block ciphers available. Us to 56 to secure your data at rest. Let's move on to the next question. So the next question is. You have an application that allows people in very remote locations to store their files safely and securely. You need to leverage Amazon CloudFront's globally distributed AWS Edge locations so that as data arrives at an AWS Edge location the data is routed to your Amazon S3 bucket over an optimized network path. Which service should you use? So the options are Option A CloudFront Transfer Acceleration Option B S3 Transfer Acceleration Option C S3 Multipart Upload Option D CloudFront Multipart Upload Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5 4 3, 2, 1. So the right answer is option BS3 transfer acceleration. Amazon S3 transfer acceleration enables fast, easy, and secure transfers of files over long distances between your client and your Amazon S3 bucket. Transfer Acceleration leverages Amazon CloudFront's globally distributed AWS Edge locations. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.